people welcome to my channel I am Arpita Karwa in the previous video I discussed some really really important things about the NTA UGC net paper 2 of English literature which was conducted on 26th of June 2019 we looked at questions which were asked from William Shakespeare questions asked from English in India from cultural studies from language and pedagogy this video is solely dedicated to the other aspects we are going to take our analysis of the paper forward and look at all the other uh, units from which questions were asked so let's begin if you remember towards the starting of the month of May I started with a crash course wherein I gave my students some really really amazing PDFs in which there were details about the opening and closing scenes about the characters about the major themes and symbols and I knew that these are the PDFs from which questions are definitely going to come because they found they are the most important pillars of English literature and this time there were five six question asked directly from those PDFs one question was from Idibis the Rex they asked about the opening scene another question was from Jane Austen's work and they asked that which of the uh, following is the unfinished novel by uh, Jane Austen another question was from Dickens Charles Dickens said they asked characters so they were talking about Miss Havisham they were talking about Agnes and I specifically mentioned in the crash course that you cannot skip reading great expectations David Copperfield Oliver Twist because these are works from which direct questions and really really uh, specific questions can be asked another important question that was asked was from utopia they asked uh, the work utopia by giving us two three hints they asked us that this is a work which was written in latin in 1516 and it was printed by william caxton identify the work and when i was teaching uh, utopia these were the few lines which i stated for the first time when i began my audio lecture because i knew that these are the works from which you can directly identify without even looking at the options so you can see how beautifully they have asked very pinpointed questions from the most important works and very surface level questions from not so important works next we come on to the section of literary criticism and let's see what all questions were asked from this particular section so the first question that they asked from literary criticism was that which of these writers wrote defense of poetry essay so there were two writers who wrote essays titled defense of poesy one was of course Philip Sidney and who is the other one that was the question so very very simple question all my students were able to uh, understand and attempt this question correctly because whenever I talk about critics I do mention all these small things because these are the points from where questions can be framed another interesting thing about literary criticism was asked from T.S. Eliot as a critic and it was asked that T.S. Eliot in one of his critical essays says that it's Virgil and not Homer who is regarded as the uh, perfect representation of Europe why it's Virgil and why not Homer why he regards Virgil better than Homer another question from the domain of literary criticism was asked from Samuel Johnson and his criticism of Shakespeare in place. So the question was asking us to tell which of the following statement correctly uh, shows the criticism of Shakespeare by Samuel Johnson. So the next section was literary theory. From literary theory this time they were asking so many questions. I think more than 10-12 questions have been asked from literary theory as per the students reviews and as per the phone calls and messages we have received so far and these theorists were exactly from the list which I have displayed on my website. I have always been telling my students in all my YouTube videos on theories that please go and check the list of theorists which I have put on arpitakarva.com because that might seem to be a big list containing somewhere around 50 theorists but these are the theorists which you need to master if you want to crack this exam and this time they were asking questions like Lang and Perol they were asking questions from J.S. Miller critic as a host who has written this particular work then they were asking questions from really minute theorists and if you look at the questions that were asked when I was analyzing these questions I found that it's very simple either they were asking the uh, aspirants to tell them 
who has written a particular work which theorist has written which particular work when i take up literary criticism and theory in my audio lectures i make sure that the very first thing i tell to my students in the audio lectures are the works written by that theorist for example if i'm talking about ferdinand the sechore i'm going to mention five six important works which ferdinand has they sechore has written and this time somewhere around four to five questions were asked just talking about a work they were either giving us a theorist and asking us to uh, tick mark which of the following work is written by him or they were doing vice versa they were giving the name of the book and they were asking which uh, who is the writer of this book another important thing that you need to understand when it comes to literary theory is that you need to understand the basic concepts what is lang how is it different from parole what is metonymy how is it different from metaphor who has given this particular term of aphoria all these terms you need to have in your notebooks and you need to also make sure that you learn it by heart so that you don't get confused when you see the mcqs when it comes to indian literature this time they were not asking a lot of questions from the indian writers they asked no question from the dramatist altogether the indian dramatics the indian aesthetics rather they focus more on english in india uh, i think there was one question asked from anita desai's cry the peacock that's what students have reported me so far another section is american literature from american literature this time they asked really basic questions so you won't believe that there was a question in ugc net paper asking us about walt whitman's o captain my captain and the question was that whom does uh, walt whitman dedicate his work o captain my captain and the correct answer as we all know is abraham lincoln i think that's a, a poem which we all studied when we were in class 8 okay so i think that's a very basic question they asked us uh, another important uh, writer they asked from american literature was henry james they asked a work by henry james that was daisy miller and they also asked a question from edgar allan poe and one of his short stories now we come on to the last topic that we are going to discuss in this analysis and the topic is about essays so were they asking questions from essays as they have mentioned it under the fourth unit that is non fiction yes they asked one question that was from george orwell's work uh, which is a very famous work inside the whale and the question was that in inside the whale he is critiquing a particular work which is that work so it's a work by henry miller and the work is tropic of cancer this was a topic which i actually talked about in my online course when i was talking about george orwell and when i was telling this to students i just said that you need to remember this point because i don't know why but i feel as if this question is going to come in the exam hall and i was so surprised when my students were calling me and telling me that yes ma'am that question actually came in the paper so overall from my my point of view i would give paper uh, a rating of easy it's not very easy of course a competitive exam is not meant to be very easy but it was not tough either so any student who knows about english literature and who has studied english literature thoroughly and has studied all the aspects be it literary theory criticism movements uh, literary terms and devices he or she can definitely qualify this exam and the paper is going to look very fascinating and very easy so my good wishes to all those who are going to sit for december 2019 exam and i hope that you're going to prepare according to the topics that i've mentioned also i would like to say that uh, the registration for december 2019 course has opened so if you want to book your seat and if you want to study with us uh, english literature in full magical way then i think it's the right time you should enroll in our course the details of my course will be available to you on the website arpitakarwa.com or else you can even whatsapp us on 7976037313 so i'll see you very soon in the next video in which i would be talking about how was the ugc net paper 1 uh, which happened today on 26th of june 2019 so till the time i post my next video stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com